Hi, this is former governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, here to welcome you to this evening's production of Bad Play. The first three rows are our designated splash zone. Only one of you will get wet, but that person will get so wet, they will have to leave. <laughs> Take note of our two fire exits, as one leads out to safety and one leads to a worse fire. <laughs> Please be advised that this production contains fog, mean yelling, the B word, the other B word, people kissing really hard, hitting, circus animals we didn't train enough, and napalm. Napalm? Man, we gotta fix that other fire exit. Anyway, time for the guys to do the play. And now, Big Tobacco presents Bad Play. Which in the theater means that while none of it is real, all of it is true. <laughs> this is the house where it all happened, except for the parts that happened outside the house. Some of it happened at Starbucks. <laughs> this is the window where I watched one son go off to prison and the other son go off to war. And this is the window where I watched my cousin get kicked in the heart by a cow. <laughs> this is the kitchen. I was standing right here when my wife told me I was going to be a father. I said, how did that happen? And she said, remember when we had sex? And I said, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I learned so much in this kitchen. <laughs> This is the couch where I learned how to fuck. <laughs> they say you can learn a lot about someone by fucking them, and I learned so much about all of my mom's friends. <laughs> right here. This is the lamp that is in the corner of the room, the, and it lights the room. <laughs> For, for we gather... If you don't a, have one, don't I, start saying I it. have one and it's the land! This is the house where tonight one of us will die. What? <laughs> oh my God, how do you know that? A house like this is a lot Is like it me? <laughs> a house like this is a lot like the Is it me? <laughs> a house like this is a lot like the family that calls it home. On the outside, things may appear perfectly ordinary, but on the inside, there are people, people with problems. A lot of problems in a family like this. A lot of problems in a family. Oh, I did that one already. A lot of conflict in a family like this. A lot of secrets in a family like this. And you know what they say about secrets. Secret secrets are no fun. <laughs> secret secrets. Secret secrets. <laughs> Come on, Jerry, you've been my bookie for how long? Forty years? Jesus, Jerry, how old am I? Look, I know that I'm a degenerate gambler, but I'm good for it. What's that? I'm not good for it. Well, well things will turn around. That's the way that things work. What's that? That's not the way that things work. <laughs> well, well, it just doesn't seem fair to me, Jerry, that a horse should run slow and I should get punished. <laughs> What's that? It is fair. Life isn't fair. Jesus, Jerry, I gotta write this stuff down. <laughs> Look, my wife can't find out about this. If she does, my whole life will come toppling over like a, like a house of pancakes. Ah, oh, darling, what are you doing? <laughs> Well, I'm just walking around the room and touching our things. <laughs> Who was that on the phone? No one! Okay. <laughs> I thought it might be one of the boys. Oh, but they aren't supposed to be home until later, and the house is a disaster. It's disgusting. I'm embarrassed to live here. Every time I go into town, people throw garbage at me. And they say, here, take this trash back to your big dump house. <laughs> it's humiliating. 
but I do love it here, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. <laughs> Darling, what would you say if I asked you to run away with me? I'd say don't be ridiculous, Woody. You know I can't run, because I don't like to. But I'm trying to be romantic here. Picture it, you and me. We, we could go anywhere. Anywhere? Yeah, we could move to Paris. Paris? Oh. Woody, you know what they say about Paris. It's a city of love. Covered in bird shit. <laughs> if not Paris, why not Detroit? Well, we can't move to Detroit. Eminem is from Detroit, and he does not like me at all. <laughs> well, what about beautiful, sunny Los Angeles, California? Los Angeles, California? Why, Woody, everyone there is a fake bastard who sucks ass. I can't move there. <laughs> Woody, I don't know why we're talking about this. We can't run away. Well, why not? Because the boys will be home any second. Well, they can come with us. Come on, isn't that what this whole thing is about? You and me, betting big on the American dream. We, we could have it all. <laughs> but Woody, I have everything I want right here. A house. My boy's coming home after years away at war and prison. <laughs> a husband who does hard, honest work to provide for us. Only a fool would gamble all that away on some pipe dream. <laughs> right, Woody? 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 Just agree with me, Woody. Darling! Yes, Woody? I gotta go jerk off. I forgot to do that. If I don't, it's very bad. Oh, no, he does need to go do that. He once skipped a day and had to go to the hospital. It was on the news. Knock, knock, I'm already inside. I got a package here for Woody. <laughs> he just stepped into the other room, but I can sign for it. No, can't do, ma'am. Sorry, postman's code. If I were to let you sign for a package that wasn't for you, I'd have to kill you. Look, I wouldn't want to do it, but I would enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sure that Woody will be through that door any minute now. In fact, I think that I hear him now. <laughs> nope, that's not him. Sad. Clark, like grenade 
tired from killing the dog, why don't you go upstairs and, and rub one out or something? I don't do that, okay? No, you do that. You hump the bed like a chihuahua. We all hear it. Then say something! <laughs> well, I see what's going on now. Now I understand. You're both jealous that I'm a war hero now. <laughs> I would have expected this from my brother, maybe from that asshole Pockets, but from you. You think I'm still that little boy from two years ago. The one who got banned from the grocery store for proposing to too many cashiers. Well, I'm a man now, hardened by the horrors of war, beloved by my fellow army men because I would eat anything for a dollar and I'd let them fuck in my bed and now any cashier would be lucky to have me. You think you'd still push me around? Tell me what to do? Things are different now, Jack. I'm a war hero. And it's about time you show me some goddamn respect. No, knock it off! Oh. We do not hit our son! Oh. Mother, do not hit my father! Oh. Noble! Oh. Woody! Mother! Noble! Oh. Woody! Mother! Noble! Oh. Woody! What's he doing home so early? I thought he was locked away in jail. No, but it's been years. It's time. Time for you to make peace. Time for you to make peace with your brother. With your brother. Bad Brad. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but first, I'm gonna, gonna hump the bed real quick. No, wait! <laughs> hey, it smells like penis butter and smelly sandwiches in here. <laughs> It's good to have you home, son. Oh! How was the ride home from prison? You ever get roadhead on a motorcycle? It's physically impossible, but I did it anyway. You smell that? Oh, that's just <laughs> disgusting, Bad Brad. Is that mustard? Yeah, bitch. I ate a hot dog. <laughs> but Bad Brad, you knew I would be cooking for you all day. What can I say? I just like to spoil my appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Now claw me, Papacita. I'm not nearly drunk enough for this shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, ruby grapefruit, my favorite. It's my favorite because That's it's the, the name, name of the, the milk, milk that I lost my virginity to. <laughs> I remember. Well, well, well. Had the prodigal son returned from his two years in the poop and pee factory? No, I wasn't at the poop and pee factory. I was in the war. You haven't changed it all, puke bud. No, Bad Brad, my name's not puke bud anymore. <laughs> I'm a hero now, and not just a bullshit everyday hero like a firefighter or Captain Sully. I'm a war hero, and my name is Noble. Um, Woody, why don't you help me in the kitchen with, um, stirring dinner? I'm right behind you. Do it this way! Oh, shit. So, Little Sergeant Buttchug's a war hero now? Last I checked, heroes don't have pee stains on their pants. Oh, shit, really? Blue. Oh. <laughs> Made you look. Very funny, Bad Brad. But you can't play your little tricks on me anymore. So, seriously, there is a pee stain on your pants. Oh, shit, really? Blue. Oh. <laughs> two for two. You're even dumber than you look. No, I'm not. I'm exactly as dumb as I look. <laughs> then why is there a pee stain on your pants? Oh, shit, really? Blue. Oh. <laughs> no, well, it's not even fun anymore. Oh, very funny, Bad Brad. <laughs> Especially coming from a man with a pea stain <laughs> on his own pants. <laughs> oh shit, really? Show me where it is on your pants. It's like right here. <laughs> <here. laughs> <laughs> it didn't hurt. That's enough, Bad Brad. 
while you were kicking back at your little wine and cheese parties in prison, I was in the jungle fighting for your freedom! My freedom? The very thing you stole from me, or do you not remember? Bad bread, please! Senior year. The president was visiting our school to give a speech about vegetable safety. <laughs> and you were jealous, because everyone was paying more attention to the president than they were to you. I was having the best hair day of my life. <laughs> so you tried to upstage the president by doing an evil Knievel stunt you saw on TV where you jumped a motorcycle over 14 buses. You stole my brand new motorcycle, and if that wasn't enough, you left all the buses to drive. So as soon as the speech started, 14 buses rolled downhill and ran over the president and his entire family. <laughs> they were flattened like so many pancakes. They were fine. They were dead, Noble. They died <laughs> from the buses. <sighs> and when the police showed up and asked who did it, you stood up and raised your hand and said, Bad Brad did it. That's his motorcycle. He killed the president to try and impress my girlfriend, Cameron Diaz. <laughs> Why did you add that to the lie? So they were thinking my girlfriend was Cameron Diaz. I get why you did it. They sent me to prison. They gave me 14 life sentences, one for each bus. I got out after two years for Brad behavior, but the damage was done. Everyone thinks I killed the president, and you proved what you are, what you've always been, a coward. Brad, Brad, please. It was only... Two years in prison, won't you get over it already? I'm not the same boy I was back then. I'm a man now. More than a man, I'm a troop. The only kind of person it's not okay to not like. So please, brother, won't you support this troop? Of course I support the troops. Hey, let's the troops, everybody. Everybody, we're not gonna continue until everybody. Yeah, I can't see you. I know that's what we're doing. Even the friends are not giving it up. What do you think? We give it up for the truth for this show. But you're no troop. No, but you sent me to prison. You're not a troop. You're just a phony in troops' clothing, like Dad when he wants to get on the plane first. <laughs> you take that back, or I might have to show you some of the things I learned out there in the jungle. Things I learned from watching monkeys beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> As if. I heard they named the Nobel Peace Prize after you, because you were so bad at war. No! Yeah. You that up. That's not true! That's what I heard. Oh, that's it! Monkey mode! <laughs> Activate! Uh, oh! Ow! 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 Stop punching me in the face! The Nobel just admit that you stink and suck. Never! I'm a hero! I'm a good son! Everybody loves me! I'm the best at fighting! No! No, boys! Stop it! Stop it at once! What do you do? Something! Hey, 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 no more time out! Bad rap, go get yourself a snack! <laughs> well, this is not how I thought it would be at all. I thought having the boys back in town would make us feel like a family again. But even back there in the kitchen, all you could think to ask me was if I knew any good places around here to eat. <laughs> Woody, I don't know what I would give for you to just look me in the eyes and, and say my name. Huh. Don't say that. <laughs> Dear? <laughs> no, Woody, just say my name. <laughs> How about this? I will say your name if you say my name. Woody. Fuck. <laughs> Do you not know what my name is? <laughs> I'm under a lot of pressure here. <laughs> what with the welcome home and the whole name thing and uh and uh oh no 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 go! Well, it looks like we're both in the dollhouse here, kid. <laughs> dog. What? We're in the doghouse. Yeah, whatever. Maybe I should just go back to the war. It's not like anyone would care. You'd still pick bad bread over me every time. You know, it's always been the same between you two. When your brother was younger, he wanted to be in the army. He wanted so bad, he used to just sit out on the edge of his bed, just, just praying and praying that a war would break out so he could put on those cargo pants and really show him who's boss. And then, 
Well, you were born. The doctors, they said they'd never seen anything like it. You were born with this, this whole set of teeth. <laughs> but not a single bone in your spine. <laughs> they called it wacky baby syndrome. <laughs> And when your brother found out, he came forward without anyone asking. He volunteered some of his bones. He gave up two of his ribs to make your back. Sure, without those ribs, he could suck his own dick and did so frequently. <laughs> it also meant that he could never fight in a war. So why don't you think about that next time you talk about him? But he, he, he never told me that. I mean, obviously, he told me he could suck his own dick, but he never told me why. <laughs> why would he do that? Why would he keep that from me for all these years? Sometimes we have to keep things from the people we love. Hurry up, it's time for dinner. I want to eat dinner now, please. Noble, hurry. Noble. <laughs> Noble. <clears throat> Dear God, it's me again. How's your day going? Because mine has not been. Oh, sorry. No, you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't believe you noticed. Oh my goodness. Stop it. What are you sitting right there? Hey, you stay away from my wife. Amen. Well, boys, can I just say how happy I am to have you? It's good to be home, dear. I wasn't talking to you. So what are we having for dinner? Anything this you'd like to tell me, bad Brad? Perhaps about a secret that is hidden away from me for years. No, stop being weird. Now's not the time. Your poor old mother, she, she blew her back out making this dinner. She's a, she's a queen of a lady. She doesn't deserve this kind of disrespect from you. Oh, I don't deserve this disrespect? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Brad, how was prison? We should ask about that. It was mid. Oh, we have a lot of... I don't know. Ribs in prison? Noble what? Noble, knock it off. Noble, how's war? Thank you for asking, Mommy. It flipping rocked. <laughs> sure, sure. Ask how everyone's doing except for me, a big cum dum husband. <laughs> oh, stop it, Woody. You're embarrassing yourself. What I would give for a how was work every once in a while. Fine. How was work? Did you get that big promotion? Well, work's been. Well, what's with all the questions here? I feel like I'm in an interrogation. I feel like I'm on The Tonight Show. I've been on Chelsea lately. Why talk to you, Woody, when you don't listen to a word I have to say? Darling, please, repeat that. I said I feel like I'm on Chelsea lately. No one was talking to you. Oh, prove it. Oh, right, you can't. No, so we'll calm down. No! Everything I know about my brother has just been flipped turned upside down. Why'd you do it, Bad Brad? What? Why'd you do it? Is it true even? Is it true your great secret, Bad Brad? Mom, um, Noble's bothering me when I'm trying to enjoy your dinner that's so delicioso. Oh, the flavor's dancing across no, my tongue. Anyway, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Shut up. It's not, it's not Mother's Day. I don't owe you anything. You can't even taste anything, Bad Brad. You're smoking crack. It's medicinal. For what? For my crack addiction. <laughs> no one sit down. We do not have secrets in this family. Oh yeah? Then why is your name a secret? <laughs> it isn't a secret, Woody. You just forgot it. Like you've forgotten everything about me. Oh, got him. <laughs> What'd you get out of that selfless act, brother? Huh? You get money? You get a little cut of the action? No, even <laughs> you don't know what you mean. What action? That's what I'm asking you, idiot! Boys, knock it off! You're upsetting your mother! You're the one who's upsetting me! Still, what's it gonna take, baby, for you to forgive me? Do you want me to beg? I will beg. Do you want me to roll over? <laughs> I will roll over! Oh, shit! Oh, my God! He hurt himself. Stop that, Woody. It is humiliating. And I am mad at you right now, so I do not appreciate you making me so H O R N Y because the boys. What does that spell? Hungry? Oh. <laughs> Just look at them. A jailbird and a war cuck. <laughs> Hey, 
name. You said it. Sheila. What? <laughs> Rapunzel? If you don't know, don't just guess whatever. <laughs> but Brad, you know my name, right? Is it not Mom? <laughs> That Brad, even you? No one knows what my name is? Does anyone know what my name is? You. What is my name? Darla. Darla? Did you just make that up? You thought, yeah, her name's probably going to be Darla and I'm going to nail it. Dylan? Alright. Alright, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan doesn't know the name of the only woman in the show. <laughs> it's not a very good look. Yeah, I'll tell you that right now. And listen, it's not up to me, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to cancel yet. Because you know what? Forgetting a woman's name, not knowing a woman's name, cancelable offense. Third worst reason to be cancelled, I would hey, say. Hey, leave Dylan alone! He seems okay! Look, I didn't know it was that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal, Woody! It's my name! My name in your programs is Mabel! Oh, Book, like Cain and Mabel. <laughs> the very first people after Adam and Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Mabel, 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 of course. I can write that on my hand. No, it's too oh. late for all of that. You made your priorities very clear. I could never compete with your work. My work? <laughs> Do you think I liked being gone every day? I busted my dick off every hour to make sure that you had food on your face and feet in your socks. I came into this business a young man. A young man with a dream. A dream to change the world with technology. To sell the best bootleg DVDs this town had ever seen. We used to laugh at the old fogies selling their bootleg VHS tapes, saying that would never be us, that DVDs were the future. Only now, DVDs are still really popular, but nobody buys mine. I spend every day coming door to door. Do you know what they tell me? They say, I remember you. You once sold me a bootleg copy of Batman Begins on DVD, and I could barely see anything. Clearly you filmed it in a movie theater and kept hiding the camera in your shirt so that half of the movie is just close-up footage of your chest and stomach. And you can barely hear anything because you're laughing so loud. The parts that aren't even supposed to be funny. And when you're not laughing, you're eating loud snacks. And he's one thing, but who brings Dungeon's crime into a movie? Also, in the last half hour, you kept screaming, Where is the Joker? Where is the Joker? This Batman begins, Kyle. There ain't no fucking Joker in that movie. I keep telling you that. And then you say, Well, fuck this and leave the theater. So, the last half hour of the movie is just you water around the Get lost! <laughs> You're looking for your car! <laughs> so when you ask me about my business, there is no business. No show business? <laughs> There's no business! I know! I haven't sold a DVD in the air because what you wanted to hear that your husband is a failure! <laughs> Woody, all of those nights that I stayed up waiting for you to come home, all of those hours that I practiced kissing on my hand, <laughs> and the door frame and our neighbor just for 
are you? It was all for nothing. I've had it with all the lies. Stop. I know the truth, bad Brad. I know about the ribs. Your great secret, the sacrifice you made for me when I was but a handsome, gorgeous babe. Why'd you do it? Why'd you do it, brother? Save my life? That ain't the bad Brad I know. What's your angle here? You are not the man that I thought you were. What man did you think I was, Dylan? Last time I checked, he was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you that gift, and all you ever did with them was send me to prison. Oh, a gift! Oh, ha 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 ha! Very funny, Bad Brad! I want the truth! You can't handle the oh, truth! Bad Brad! Dylan! <laughs> that you wow me. I can't give away my dead son's things because technically they're medical waste. I have to bury my brother today and all I wanted was a free Starbucks. 
and I can't even have that. Wait, I can? Are you serious? Oh my god, yes! Oh, I don't like it. I don't like coffee, it turns out. Can I have a refund? Well, if I didn't pay for it, just give me the cash value of the drink, moron. Wait, you will? You will actually? It was insane that I asked for this. You'll do it? Oh my god, yes! I love Starbucks! They're at the gate. And they're on your way to run! Yes, yes, yes! No! God damn it, that was my last time! Come on, you, you look like a gambling man. What do you say, double or nothing? My son just died. I'm due for a win. Oh, does anyone here in heaven or hell want to make an honest bet? Oh, my. You're a ghastly, horrible kind of person. No, no, nothing personal. It's just your appearance and the overwhelming sense of terror I get when I look into your eyes. Why? Why, yes, I'd like to make a bet, but... All I've got left in the world is this lousy deed to my house. You'll take it? Why, that's wonderful. Now think, what do you think? All that's left is to pick a horse. What horse could possibly go fast enough to win the race and save the family? I've got it. You know, my mother always said the only person you can trust in is yourself, <laughs> which is what I choose. I'm gonna go out there and run faster than every guy. <laughs> that wish is mine, Ginny! Do 
that thing, that thing that you saw online, where you take ice cream out of the freezer and you, you open it up and you lick it and then you put it back just to feel something. But you forget you're allergic. So your throat starts closing up. And when you go to tell the cashier who's ugly, <laughs> and he says, did you just lick that and put it back? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing matters. All that matters is that one day you have a son. And the next, all you have left is his hard shirt. <laughs> and his favorite bag of crack. <laughs> Bad Brad, I don't know what you want me to do, but I do think I know what you would do. Aside from my mom and dad, I don't know who any of you people are, or how you knew my brother. Like, like I'm sorry. How did you know Bad Brad? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. We got a train together one time. You got a train together yeah. one time. <laughs> and now you're at his funeral. <laughs> it was very memorable. It was memorable. Yeah. Okay. You know, she's got. His parents are on the stairs, and you're in the front row. Because <laughs> you, you got a train together. <laughs> How long was the train ride? Um, about like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. It was long enough. Yeah. 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, this funeral has been longer than the train ride. <laughs> Did he talk about me at all? Um, no. No, then it probably wasn't him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> he would have talked about his cool brother. I don't, I don't think you met him. I think that was a different bad Brad who's also probably dead. Uh, <laughs> listen, you've taken up too much time for my speech. <laughs> oh my god. Can you believe this? <laughs> Uh, to whom it may concern. Uh, <laughs> Muammar Gaddafi once said, <laughs> Dance like nobody's watching. <laughs> and he was killed for it. <laughs> ahead a little bit. I spent too much time talking to the training person, uh, so I gotta skip. Okay, um, uh, one thing, okay, one thing we may take solace in 
regarding the death of one bad Brad is that his death was not my fault. <laughs> bad Brad was a victim of what we like to call improper grenade safety. <laughs> Look to your left. Look to your right. Statistically, both of those people will be blown up by a grenade. <laughs> Soon? <laughs> Bad Brad was... Bad Brad. Oh, boys. I'm sorry. I... I can't do this. <laughs> I need to speak from the heart. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. That was the title for my car. <laughs> Bad breath. No, what are you doing? I'm just, I'm sorry. For a second, I thought I Nice heard... eulogy, butt nuts. Ah! <laughs> it can't be! You're dead! No, but who are you talking to? Am I dead? Did you ever see my body? Yes, it's right there! What? That's, you put me in a bucket? Yes! What do you want? It's, it... A coffin, anything. I, I can't, it, it was, it, we didn't have time for it. We had like a bucket. It's a lot of hands. It's a lot, I don't know what's alive. <laughs> What is a lot it of hands? A lot of hands for it's just what was there. I don't know. I don't know, bad friend. Bad friend, listen to me. Listen to me. There's so much I never got to say to you while you were still of this earth. No, we'll keep it light. Oh. <laughs> right here, right now, at this very moment, and give the most inspirational speech ever, and somebody films it, and I go viral like I've always dreamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear ghost, thank you. Thank you. And I forgive you. <laughs> so long, partner. <laughs> Happy trails, <laughs> amigo. See ya on the other side. Oh, ah! You can touch! No, will you forgive me? You fucking killed me. And you're not going viral. You're shadow banned on everything. No, they, they couldn't handle what The Rock was cooking. What? I don't know! I don't know, Matt Brett! Be Matt Brett, please! If not, then were the ribs a sacrifice to mold me into a viral sensation? Then how? Wherefore was the secret of the ribs? No, I, I know I'm kind of a wacky guy <laughs> with my whole deal, yeah. but I gotta be honest with you. I gave you the ribs so that my baby brother would not die. It's oh. not a secret. What? Whoa. And then you killed me. Just like you kill pockets. No, no, shut up, I'm grieving. You have to be nice to me. No, well, no. This is why everyone in heaven talks mad shit about you. <laughs> you can fool yourself, but me and Abraham Lincoln and God and Bernie Mac know what you are. <laughs> A hero? A coward. No, I'll fucking kill you! You already did that. No, I didn't! What are you doing? No, but your performance art is obtuse. <laughs> Father to be 
be a husband with all this responsibility and shit? <laughs> you know what I wanted? I wanted to cruise the open roads, fucking and sucking my way through every state. <laughs>
It can't be! Yeah, 20 something. Oh, sorry, is this shoes on or shoes off household? <laughs> <laughs> shoes off. Okay, you're all wearing shoes? So? Okay. <laughs> Something years ago, during one of your long nights at the office, Mabel and I, we, uh, oof, awkward turtle, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> you slept with the devil? Oh, is this true? Oh, but, but, you swore it would be our secret! Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm Bad Brad's father! <laughs> but you said you'd wear a condom! Would the devil just lie about something like that? No, I wore one, I just wasn't effective, because there's always a small chance it won't be effective. <laughs> I think, I think that maybe, maybe it's true. Oh, but look, look! Don't you all see the resemblance? Mabel, are you telling me that after all these years of me lying to you, you've been lying to me? I, 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 I... I gotta go jerk off! I forgot to do that! No! Father! Your heart! Woody, wait! Please! Let him go, Mabel. In fact, leave him. Marry me. We can rule hell right here from this house. The community's not that bad. It's like 45 minutes. We can listen to a podcast. We can listen to my podcast. <laughs> wow. This is a lot to consider. A Sorry, wait. What is your podcast? It's comedians getting real. <laughs> you never get to see that side of them. The walls down. You will be queen of the underworld. Every soul will always quake at the name Mabel Devil. And I can co-host your podcast. I didn't say that. <laughs> Hands off my girlfriend! I need my mom! <laughs> yesterday. For me, it's a no-brainer. I also have a limited crack, and I give great back rubs, so bust a cap in their asses. <laughs> and come marry me in hell. Mabel, please. I know that I'm not perfect, but I'm your husband. And I love you. So please, just put the gun down. That's it. Put the gun down. And... And while you're up, could you get me a beer? Oh! Oh, my penis! No, no, no. Oh, my penis! No, no, no. You shot me in the penis! Father, no! Woody! Woody, I didn't mean to shoot you in the penis! I think, I mean, I don't know, the devil's making a lot of really good points! Please don't kill me, Mabel. 
people. No, shoot him with the penis till he dies. Oh, <laughs> wait! I have something I want to say. Sure, you could make my mother shoot my father in the penis. Sure, you could kill Denise. Anyone could have killed Denise. He was weak. A burnout dope fiend. A loser. A coward. A whiny little whore. With no money or prospects. Painfully single. His whole life sticky from juice. Nobody liked that guy, I tells you. We all kind of wanted to kill that fail man, right? If he didn't do it, no, he we... just died. I was like him once, scared, afraid, stupid, <laughs> ugly, but I'm stinky. <laughs> I have been made strong by the spirit of my brother, Bad Brad. Bad Brad created me from his rib, like Eve. So it's time to make like Eve and kill the devil. Noble, you can't kill the devil. Oh, sure. Not with a punching or whatever Denise was going to try to do. But there is one thing strong enough to defeat him. One thing more powerful than all his devilish evil. Noble, if you say love, I swear to God. No, Father. Better than love, like love on crack. <laughs> and that's theater! <laughs> the stage, the spotlight, the plays are the greatest tool we have to combat the evils of the world. We must entertain the people. We have to clap. Dear reader, yep, yep it's, it's 
turns out I was writing a play. This, this is, is the story of my awful family. family. Fuck you! Wait, there's more! <laughs> my family did a bad job at everything they ever loved or wanted. But I want you to know, they truly tried their best. Isn't that so sad? <laughs> this was their best, and they were trying so hard. <laughs> Some people run towards a goal their entire lives without ever sealing the deal, and that's hard to understand as someone who spends his days porking basically every chicken pound. <laughs> Our lives haven't made much sense. Maybe they will as a play. Because actually, plays are kind of like life, aren't they? Because sometimes, there's nudity. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> keep calm and, and chive on. <laughs> yes. yes, there is one good, good thing, thing about, about missing two ribs. In, In fact, fact, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do that one good thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> but before I go, I just want to say, secret secrets are no fun. They make your life a mess. But never did your secrets make me love you any less. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Sucking noises. <laughs> what? It, it, it says sucking noises. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Say, what's that on the last page? <laughs> Oh, it's hentai. <laughs> <laughs>